Ardmar wasn't used to days like this. What was he even fighting for? If he somehow retrieved his villagers, would the chief still cast him out? Maybe if he could capture the one responsible. Perhaps they'd forgive him for his life of cowardice. Goblin, shouted Ardmar. Why are you watching me? I have questions for you. The creature bolted away, and Ardmar's attention turned to a wild boar. Please, noble beast, pleaded Ardmar. Help me catch that monster. Ardmar had found a great friend in the boar. Even though they'd lost track of the goblin, the boar had given him more help than anyone in recent years. Just as Ardmar bid his new friend farewell, suddenly the fairy from his dream appeared. I didn't grant these powers you could spend your days chasing monsters, said the fairy pointedly. Ardmar was surprised and said, I thought you only existed in my dream. I gave you these powers for a reason, said the fairy. We need your help, Ardmar. Oh, uh, help with what? Ardmar asked reluctantly. My people are gone. I need to find them. You have to save the forest, said the fairy. You have to restore balance to the world. Restore balance? Ardmar started, but he was interrupted by a loud growl emanating from the forest. Have to hurry, said the fairy. 
We don't have much time, Odmar. And in a flash, she was gone. And it was right in Odmar's path. He needed to pass it in order to enter the forest. Odmar was careful not to wake the troll. But it was too late. You dare set foot in my forest? roared the troll. I am the protector of this forest. Oh, this is a dream. Go back to sleep, Odmar urged. A dream, replied the troll. No, oh no. For you, it shall be a nightmare. You shall pay for what your kind has done to our home.